name's Maddie and I work for ALSIS, a geospatial information management company. We use images from space to monitor changes that are hard to see on the ground. For example, we can monitor changes in coastline over the past 30 years, or the development of infrastructure either side of country borders over the past 10 years. We can then use these images to help predict changes in the future. Recently, we've been working on a project um, to help predict the areas of East Timor that are likely to be affected by coastal erosion in the next five years, based on images of the coastline from the past 30 years. We can also use images from space to predict things like drought by measuring the levels of chlorophyll, the green pigment found in plants. This work can be used by organisations like UNICEF to help people in need. My role is a lot less technical. I work in the business development team um, and it usually entails communicating with donors like UNICEF country offices and consultants. Um, so I regularly speak to UNICEF country offices about the work that we do and how it could help them with issues faced in the country that they work in. Um, I also find and connect with various consultants whose expertise could assist us in projects that we are implementing around the world. I also monitor social media for any brewing um, disasters or issues um, and to work out whether ALSIS could assist in those. Um, an example of this is during the Israel-Palestine crisis, uh, we helped to map a safe route for um, trucks carrying essential aid from the border of Egypt to the, uh, to the main hospital in Palestine using a combination of satellite imagery and reports from social media. I never expected to end up in a company like ALSIS or in the space sector. At school, I always studied humanity, humanity subjects like history, English, politics, and at university, I studied international relations. I don't have any background in engineering. I always hated physics at school, but I found a place in the space sector that doesn't need any of that. When I was younger, I wanted to be a human rights lawyer or work for an NGO because I'm passionate about helping people. Um, and I never thought that the space sector could let me do that.